Who are you? What do you do for CIG? <laughs> what's CIG? I don't know. Wait, what's Foundry? C RSI? Foundry 40? What's Foundry 42? I don't get it. So how was uh, the Are first? we live? Yeah, yeah, we are live. Oh. Yeah. Wait, wait, when are we going live? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. Yeah. So I close your eyes, everybody. I have a here. question. So count you down. Three, two, one. We're live. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Hi, welcome to Britison Con 2018. I've got the year right. This is my third Britison Con. It is. Third. Uh, are you enjoying it again? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Good people. It's a good turnout. It is. I think the first year there was... I don't know. We had about 30, 60, I think, 60, was there 60? 70 the first okay. time, yeah. And then every year it's kind of grown and grown and grown, which yeah. is cool. So um, it's been really good. Uh, the turnouts, like, you know, obviously, we can get bigger and better. It's, uh, it's what yeah. we're after. But, um, so we had the Bar Citizen yesterday. Unfortunately, you missed that one. Yes, I missed. Yeah. But there's one tonight. There is well. one tonight, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go into that one. Yeah. I will be here. Um, I made sure to get a later flight tomorrow so I can hang out late with everyone and have fun. So um, the audience actually missed the entirety of that panel. <laughs> well, so not the entirety. We did manage to. I went and in the end, because this yeah. wasn't working, I went with my phone okay. and streamed the latter part. But wait, wait, so they didn't hear Aaron's big reveal? No. They didn't. Oh. They didn't hear anything. You know? Oh, really? They, oh. And sadly, ah, everybody right. had to sign an NDA. <laughs> like, it was a really massive moment. He was like, OK, so everybody look under your receipts. Yeah, and we yeah. did. And there was NDAs, and we had to sign them. <laughs> there, so. there was no reveal, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, it was good. There were good questions, right? They kind of, they come, questions always come from all over the place, yeah. right? That was your second time on the panel as well, wasn't it? You did the panel last year? And and the first year oh, as well, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The first year was kind of random because we just, we just kind of sat there and just questions <laughs> came in. So, everywhere. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you enjoy doing those sort of panels and random questions that you don't know what's coming? Because obviously, I presume a lot of questions get vetted before they come to you normally. Uh, normally, I think they both have their pros and cons. If we know questions ahead of time, yeah, you know, I can give it an honest think, yeah, and, and be as direct and concise and truly answer it, right? Yet, uh, there's something about even like this, right? Us just being spontaneous, right? Um, I'm always just myself even if I prepare or not I hopefully just come across as hey no, this is me this is what's going on right if I, have, if I don't know what I'm talking about I'm like yeah yeah I have no idea so That's sorry pretty much like most of us streaming that. <laughs> no what I find a lot of the times in the panels that are spontaneous which makes sense but a majority of them are design questions yes right because people are in like oh can you tell us about production yeah oh can you tell us about you uh, know? And that's one of the things yeah was not being prepared because like, we, we've done it before where we vetted people for questions to ask the devs and it's like well that's that's an advantage because you can weed out things well they're not yeah. going to know that instead of just sitting there for about 20 minutes going so I, I can't what, answer that one. what we've done in other panels is we've asked for questions ahead of time just to ha get an honest uh mix of them Right, yeah. so there's some animation questions, some design, some art, some production, and, and so on. So, yeah. But it's been good. I mean, good people. I'm always surprised when I come here because I, you know, roll in at like 10.30 and everyone already has a beer. I'm just like, I'm in the UK. Isn't it? I thought I ever did that in Germany as well. Well, yeah, you start at 9.30, yeah. you see? Yeah, that's true. that's true. And the beers are a lot bigger in Germany. Yeah, we have pints, you have liters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, like a real beer, you know? What, what are you saying I'm we drink? Hey? Hey? I don't know, yeah. Actually, I'm as well, this probably isn't real beer, it's from the hotel, so. <laughs> so, how are you doing? You having fun here? Uh, very stressful. No, yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, we had, lot, obviously, a lot of difficulties, but uh, now it's up and running. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Are you sure all. we're really live? No. Because I think before you thought we were live, but then we weren't. Yeah, that so has, we that could has just happened before. Well, it doesn't matter though, does it? Because we're still chatting, so it's fine. We we're we're getting all the NDA information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's fine. We can test. Chat. How many Brian's am I holding up right now? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll what? <laughs> how is your hops growing? Going? Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. Let's talk hops. It was yeah, trip. Why not? Um, so last year, if people don't know, I, I always try to have a garden. Uh, and it's, it sounds a little silly, but I work digital stuff all the time, right? So if I can get home and like chop some wood or get my hands in the dirt. <laughs> um, and I was going, okay, well, what can I grow mostly in pots and stuff? And I've always had tomatoes and other viney vegetables. And I was like, dude, let's try hops, right? Because I can get them in Germany. And 
I've made a lot of beer in the past, but it would be more for like ornamental. So I dug in, I found a very specific type of Bavarian hop. I bought it, I read about it, I researched, and they grew like mad. They grew crazy. And I was like, okay, awesome. And uh, we cut them down and made crowns out of them and drank big beers and took silly pictures, pretty much. <laughs> um, and then I read and said, okay, yeah, you know, Germany gets cold, it's freezing out. What do I do to take care of them? I said, oh, you just cover them with mulch and, you know, keep it going throughout the year and then everything would be cool. Um, I wasn't confident that I was doing it the right way. Yeah. But when I was, would have stuff in the garden, I would throw it on top and just mulch it down. Um, about four weeks ago, my wife said, oh, my God, did you look outside and see the hops? And they were about, I, I don't know, a foot tall. Oh, nice. And I went, wait, hold on. So then I got the wires again to have them start growing because they naturally grow. Yeah. And now they're about eight feet tall already. Wow. And that was literally three to four weeks ago. So. It could show right up. Yeah, yeah. So I it literally, it caught me off guard. I was like, you know, it, just, it was just a pile covered in scraps. And I was like, eh. But, so yeah. are we going to be able to buy Brian <laughs> Brian's Brian. beer. What would you call it? What would you call your label of beer? I, you know, I, 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 when the reveal comes, you'll, you guys will be <laughs> amazed. Right. Like, I don't want to give it samples? away. Um, you haven't signed the NDA yet. So. <laughs> and how long does it take from the hop, like growing the start of the hop to the beer? NDA. NDL, oh my god. NDL. Yeah. 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 Well, you need the hop. So, the hop, I'm, I'm by no means um, an expert on hops at all. But my understanding, as it was last year, the hops grow and they get a certain length. And really, once they get to the end of the length, then they get side shoots off of the main stem. The side shoots are then what actually the hop is, yeah. it, hops grow on, right? And then they have to get a certain age, and then you can take those off and dry them and so on. So. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe they do say last year I bought brand new hops, which I was like, well, what does that even mean? Uh, they were first year hops, and they say generally when a hop plant matures, from what I've read at least, it's best from the third year on. Yeah, there's, so, there's other crops like that. You have to they have to develop for a few years first before they. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, yeah. Absolutely. So, so are we going to get hops growing in Star Citizen? Uh, Farming confirmed. <laughs> Hops growing confirmed, beer, beer brewing confirmed. Beer for uh, uh, If I just say no and then it happens, then that's, we're good. We got a, I, I, so I think that no. Is, isn't that a good way to answer mostly? Probably not, but if it happens, no, it's just great. no, not probably. That's soft. Oh, that's true. Just okay. no. Just straight out no. no. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Are we going to be able to fly ships? Oh, no. <laughs> Land yeah. No. Absolutely. Then everything will be a surprise, right? So um, you're not on the next panel. I'm not on the next panel. Why would so I be on no, two panels? Why not? I think I, I don't right. think you can get enough Brian. That's Confirmed. What most <laughs> Confirmed. Say. I'm on the next panel. Yeah. Yeah. Confirmed. We do need a panel about hops. Space hops. <laughs> the final frontier. <laughs> wow, nice. Space hops. The final full beer. No, there's got to be something there. It's not working. Are we going to be question? Are we going to be able to grow hops on the endeavor? No. <laughs> Just the final front Ricky, the they're asking me stupid yeah. questions. So. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Yeah. What I've decided, if I just say no to everything, then we're good. <laughs> can yeah. we get Ricky? Yes. All right. Okay. All right. High five me. Ricky. Thank you very much. Ciao. Appreciate it. Always good to Thanks, see you. Thanks, guys. Have a chat. So from one glorious hairstyle to another, I think we're going to get the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Ricky Jutley.